Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers. So help me out there to get my goal until the end of the year. And we are testing out the new Bravi uh, Soviet ship from 1967 with its V600P or rather the Volna M. I think it's called this Navy version, but it is the S125. A radar system and basically a missile system that even destroyed the F1, uh, F-117 back in the day, in the 90s, right? So it is a very, very interesting system and I wanted to test it out, uh, but it is kind of bugged, uh, I, I have to be honest. First things first, the missile just doesn't have the range. As you saw right there, the missile just exploded before reaching the target. Uh, this missile is supposed to have like 30 to 40 kilometers of range and beyond 16 it just self-explodes. So that's fun, you know. Uh, we are testing out against a MiG-27 and just having fun, to be honest. Um, and of course, a MiG-27 is way more advanced than this ship, obviously. So uh, yeah, take that into account. Uh, this would, I mean, this type of system would be facing F-105s, F-4s, you know, things like that. On a MiG-27 that has TV guided systems. Um, so yeah. But there are many weird things. The radar doesn't lock apart from like, you know, 10 kilometers and below. Uh, you don't have kind of a lead for you to actually, you know, use the, the, the radar properly. Together with the missile not having the range. And also the missile just explodes very far from the target and it doesn't do damage. Which is, I think it's, it's all right because the S-125 had that problem a little bit. Uh, the way that it flies is really, really realistic, though, you know, uh, if you, there is some footage, I will see if I can find it and leave it in the description. You can see it that it flies exactly like it is here in this uh, gameplay. It's, it's even funny how much it is like the same as real life, the way that it flies. It goes wobbling around and yeah, it's just a very, very fun thing. But the damage kind of makes it very weird and also it makes that, I mean, look at that. It exploded, but it didn't do any damage. So it's kind of, you know, uh, so yes, indeed, I'm facing an enemy that is much stronger than my ship, uh, much more modern, right? And yeah, you wouldn't face that. I mean, it's at 5.3. For 5.3 aircraft, it is going to be amazing and it's going to be destroying everything. Of course, this thing can actually be used against ships as well. But the objective here is to have fun just trying to shoot down aircraft, right? Uh, so, yeah, use it as a, uh, an AA system. It's more fun that way. To be honest, I only see... I mean, on the ship battles, it will be very good. Especially against props, right? And you will be able to destroy ships and stuff. But to be honest, outside of that, for now, only custom battles are really doable right here uh, with this thing. Uh, I can imagine, if you remember that event that I did uh, together with some guys that we did basically a, a Soviet invasion of the um, of Denmark, I think it was, or something like that, that it was trying to be realistic and stuff, and sorry about the Discord sound, and yes, the this ship would be a very, very cool thing on that kind of occasion, like a realistic kind of situation that... We are trying to make a custom battle and an event. Then I think it would be fairly okay, right? But everything else, I mean, it's kind of alright for ship battles. But don't expect this thing to be the most amazing thing ever if it stays like this. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, as I said, for ship battles, which is the most important thing, you will be very good. But for destroying jet aircraft, I mean, for custom battles, it is kind of difficult. Um... Which is okay. This this a very it is a very old missile. It's a 1961 missile, so there's no problem in that. But it would be cool to actually have a just the proper range of this thing to actually be able to use it as it was in real life, right? But it is in it very interesting in another prospect it, that is just we are getting into a more modern kind of situation here. This is a 1967 ship, man. And to be honest, it is the first ship that I actually enjoy actually getting it. And I think I will get it for myself. Um, of course, there is a thing that it is mainly due to the missile. 
but still, it is very cool, man. Imagine Adula Udaloy One or something that has OSAs and other systems like that. It could very clearly deal with these type of more modern aircraft. And with that, it would be very, very cool and just very, very high in VR as well. So for the modern Navy or at least like a Cold War Navy, um, we can see more ship missiles like this being added. Uh, I don't know about the other nations, but at least for the Soviets, they are pretty all right because they have a lot of these ships that use these type of systems without radar locks and everything like that. I mean, look at that, man. I, I shot the Sea Harrier two times to start to actually damage it properly. So that's the main thing that I like was, I mean, the missile is not doing a lot of damage. Um, even in ships, like it is doing damage and it can like MRX stuff, but it is not like really properly useful, right? So it is weird. Um, as I said, it is more usable in a custom battle than anything else, but in the sense of killing jets from the Cold War, <laughs> because in the normal battles, you just will not see anything like that, right? So it, it is just okay for it, uh, but it is really, really fun. If you don't have any ships, and I mean, if you want to get it, I would advise you guys to go for this one if you can, because it is a very, very fun uh, aircraft uh, ship that has a very cool missile. Uh, if you saw there, I shot the Sea Harrier two times and then he eventually just crashed into me. So you can really think, uh, see that it doesn't like make sense. This missile doesn't do any damage sometimes. It just explodes so far away from the target that, I mean, it just doesn't do much, which is quite sad. So I don't know, uh, maybe they need to fix that. Maybe you need to do more damage. I don't know. It's just weird. Of course, as a... Uh, as I said, kind of a, you know, a thing that you have to consider. I am fighting much more modern aircraft and with a much higher BR that is just having fun. It's not really, you know, meant to be like actually looking for the ship's performance and everything like that. It's more like, a, a, let's have fun and kill some air targets that are from the Cold War with a Cold War missile, right? So, yeah, there is need, there is some fixing need to do needing and in meat basically but uh, it is very very fun to uh, just use this thing and it really is if you like the history of this missile the history of this boat maybe i don't know it will be just fun just for that i mean it is a very very fun thing just for that fact right so as you see here i wasn't able to actually lock the target properly but i managed to actually kill it uh, with two missiles which is just Weird, and then the F-14 got killed by my other AA, so it is really weird. And against 5.3 aircraft, it will be very OP in my opinion. Um, I mean, for I mean, it's a, it's going to be facing World War II aircraft with a 1961 missile, so you can imagine that it will be kind of, you know, kind of OP. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the Tunguska of the ships, right? It is really like that. As you see, it has a lot of AA systems. It is pretty cool to look at. Yeah, it even killed the Harrier Gear 7, as you saw. So, <laughs> yeah, it is very, very nice. But um, you have to be careful. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I really think that this thing will be invulnerable in 5.3 for, for aircraft. It's just really, really good at that for that time. I mean, imagine fighting 20-year-old aircraft against a, you know, 20 year old, like newer missile system. So yeah, and as you see, very, very fun. It is the first step in the right direction, I think, for me personally, for the Navy, doesn't mean anything. Still needs work done, but still it is very, very cool. And hopefully more ships like this are added. In my personal opinion, we need more Cold War stuff for ships. It will make it very, very fun to sale all around. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and bye guys. See you.